why do we do we not have flying cars yet? Uh, well, the answer is that we sort of do. There have been uh, flying car prototypes being created for the last several decades. Uh, there's a company that supposedly is going to make a flying car commercially available next year. Um, it's not going to be cheap. It's going to make a, a Tesla look fairly economical. Um, yeah, but there are a number of engineering challenges uh, to start with. If you need Come to on, we have helicopters. Isn't that what we're looking for here? <laughs> um, yeah, we get there. I mean, the Back to the Future, it just lifts up off the ground and, and, and flies away. Um, if you're going to lift something that's 3,000 pounds, which is about what a, a normal sedan weighs, um, you're going to push a lot of air down, blow over trash cans. Um, that's not something you're going to use in the driveway of your house or in a parking lot. Um, if you want to spend a lot of money to make it light, you're using composite materials, aluminum, titanium, I mean, not the, the steel that they use in a car. So maybe you can get that 3,000 pounds down closer to the 700 pounds of a, a two-person uh, personal aircraft. You're still creating uh, a giant disturbance um, and we just don't have the infrastructure for places to, to take off and land in that, that vertical takeoff and um, landing situation. Um, watch a helicopter land in a war movie or watch um, a, a Harrier jet. I remember uh, True Lies. <laughs> True Lies. Arnold Schwarzenegger jumps in a Harrier and takes off and he's blowing over cars and, and doing all kinds of damage. That's the kind of effect you would get if you need to launch a car off of the ground. Yeah. Um, and then there's the human element. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> seven people have point. enough problem right now. Um, just navigating two dimensions and trying to dodge people is an issue. Um, as soon as you get something above 55 pounds, uh, the FAA becomes involved and says, you need a pilot's license, you need to start talking to towers, you need to make sure that all these things are not constrained by roads, are not randomly flying into one another. Um, and now that you're moving in three-dimensional space, instead of just accidentally bumping in somebody's garage door, you can land on their roof, you can land in their pool. <laughs> Um, you can do all kinds of, of irresponsible damage, so you would need pilot's licenses and all kinds of training to be allowed to operate one of these if you could afford it.